This is the start of my latest training block. I'm working towards a climbing trip in October and a season of climbing on gritstone, so I'm hoping to document my training over the next few months, even though, despite my best intentions, it's often slightly sporadic and unstructured. The first session of my training block was at Sheffield Depot. I normally climb three times a week and I try to have a plan for at least two of those sessions. I have to keep it short and simple, otherwise I lose interest. In its most basic form, I started with a power endurance day. This meant the peak of my session was dedicated to climbing 4 by 4s This is a classic climbing exercise where you choose four problems slightly below your limit and you climb them in a row. You rest for about five minutes in between and then you climb the same four problems again. The idea is that you'll climb all four problems four times. And although you get more tired each round, you should also be getting more efficient at climbing on the problem each time. It's safe to say that I'm pretty terrible at this exercise because my power just drops off the cliff after the first problem I climb. No doubt I'll be tempted into trying all kinds of off-piece problems during my session, but I do try and leave enough energy for a short strength session afterwards. One of my current goals is a one-arm pull-up and um, that's not essential for hard climbing but it's a way to build strength and it also keeps me motivated. At the moment I'm using a pretty stone age system to remove weight with one arm while pulling hard with the other arm and the idea is that if I pull more than say five kilograms with my second arm I'll know because I'll be able to see the weight move up. Because this exercise is pretty hard on my elbows I try to keep the overall rep low and after I've worked through that I'll move on to a couple of accessory movements. Usually that means biceps, triceps, uh, press ups and core exercises. The regular gym has always been a mainstay in my training and I've been going to the gym longer than I've been climbing. So I always aim for two gym sessions a week and that's on top of my climbing sessions. On this day of my program, I get things going with a super set of squats and walking lunges and they are exactly as bad as they sound, but it feels really good once you've got it done. And from there I move on to bench press, which is one of my favorite exercises. The raw strength work really helps on certain types of climbing like compression climbs and to some extent on kind of big moves as well. Then I'll usually suffer through whichever workout challenge Paddy, the guy who owns the gym I go to, has put on the leaderboard. That will normally be a 5-10 to 10 minute sprint exercise but don't underestimate how much pain you can be in after 5 minutes of The next week I was back at Sheffield Depot and this time I had a completely unstructured climbing session but I still needed to complete the second of my two climbing specific workouts. First up was weighted pull-ups and while I was doing that Hannah completely showed me up on the moon board but that did give me a bit of motivation to move on to my hangboarding session 
which I take on at least once a week, and sometimes twice, but that depends on how my fingers feel. And at the moment, I'm nursing a bit of a tweak, so I'm just doing bodyweight repeaters on the Beastmaker with a focus on keeping good form. And I'll hang on for 10 seconds, and then I'll rest for 10 seconds, I'll hang for 10 seconds, and so on and so on. I'd like to move back on to max hang soon with a bit of added weight, but for the moment, this rehab work is at least having another benefit of improving my endurance. So over the coming few weeks, I'll keep logging my progress and I'll share a few more workouts, hopefully sharing a bit of enthusiasm along the way.